Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and the Fan, or Lighting and a Fan, rather. So today is Wednesday, August 23rd, 2017, and the current time is approximately 5.44 p.m. I would like to first acknowledge my newest YouTube channel subscriber as we wait for the sirens to go by. Living in a city. Hmm. And I love her YouTube channel username, Lady D. I love it, Lady D. You know that's a party, Lady D. <laughs> and of course, something beautiful is on the horizon. Yes, I only have one new subscriber. I can't hard to believe. <laughs> oh, but that's okay. You know, I'm, I'm happy that I have more than 100, and that makes me very happy. Um, so, let's see. First of all, um, I want to talk about several things in this video. And of course, my awesome audiovisual person is going to make sure that this video is under 20 minutes because it doesn't need to be more than 20 minutes. So that's number one. Number two, um, you know, those of us that are magical, mystical, metaphysical, spiritual, pagan, Wiccan, magical practitioners, um, witchy, we know that the most recent new moon and solar eclipse in Leo now that the hoopla has died down, we can deal with this metaphysically, magically, mystically, and with amazing self-awareness and um, with intelligence. Yes, there is a little bit of contempt and disdain dripping from my voice, a little bit of harshness, because unfortunately, there are people that try to make something be more, um, I don't want to use the term buzzworthy, but that's the only word that's coming into my mind, you know? And I was like, and people were saying this is the total eclipse of the heart. I'm like, you know, I, I, listen, I know that in Western astrology, Leo rules the heart and the spine. And since the sun rules Leo, the sun rules the heart and the spine. So I got it. But I remember somebody was like, somebody sent me a text message writing, you know, have a great total eclipse of the heart. And I'm like, what is this? Now, I know it's a song. In fact, it's ironic. I almost never watch motion pictures, and yet I'm well aware that that is a song that's part of the Footloose motion picture soundtrack. These days, I'm more familiar with motion, um, television show mo soundtracks as opposed to motion picture ones. So I, I, I know that it's a song, but it just blew my mind. Like people are trying to like, you know, I, I don't want to say I don't even know if the right term is commercialized. But again, I'm going to go back to buzzworthy. It's like, you know, what's what's um, an appropriate sound bite for a social media platform. And I'm just like, really? You know, so that nonsense, just like, whatever. Now, I will tell you that I also was one of the few people in my area that did not look directly at the sun before the eclipse, during the eclipse, and after the eclipse. In fact, I didn't look at the sky at all. Unless I was in an area that was shaded and I was looking at clouds and sky. But I will tell you, I was wearing sunglasses because it was very bright and sunny outside. And I did need to run a few errands that day. So I couldn't help but notice that these areas of my eyes, these in particular, had this irritation. It wasn't especially painful, but it was an irritation. I, I wouldn't say that it was a burning sensation, but it just felt very raw. And it felt um, very... Um, for lack of a better term of phrase, overexposed. Um, so, I, and I knew instinctively that that would fade. I knew instantly that that would be done with, after the eclipse, and sure enough it was. 
And I don't know about your area, but it was super hot the following day. I'm like, you know, it, yeah. So now let's deal with this metaphysically and magically and mystically. So the energetic shifts that preceded this new moon and black moon, because it was the second new moon in Leo, and solar eclipse in Leo, were very powerful and very profound. It is my sense, and I, and I stick by this, and this is not really a prediction, but this has been my sense for the last several weeks, that this particular astrological transit is ushering in a lot of positive, beautiful, powerful, and sacred changes. And it is also bringing to light a lot of nonsense. Um, and, you know, I, I need to also acknowledge that I recently found out that Doreen Virtue is basically renouncing tarot, and or rather she has renounced tarot, she's renounced mediumship, and she is renouncing other things as well. Um, she has become very um, focused on Jesus, um, although for me, I can only refer to him as, as Yeshua, the Anointed One. Um, I've never really called him Jesus. Um, I don't really feel comfortable talking about Jesus in public, simply because a lot of people have a lot of BS connected to that divine being. So, you know, there, there's not going to be any, Jesus can save you in my videos. Unless I want to do some massive clickbait, then, you know, that would go. Now, oh, I... I ruined it, damn it. Wanted to do some clickbait in the future. Anyway, um, but you know, I'm, I'm not angry with her. I'm not necessarily upset with her, but I'm disappointed in her. Um, I'm disappointed because, well, to be perfectly blunt, I thought she was better than that. And, and yeah, there, there is a little bit of judgmentalism in that statement, and I, I acknowledge that, and, and I apologize if that offended you. I think that Doreen Virtue is wonderful. But I, she's a little less wonderful for me after having found this out. Um, and I'm not sure how to deal with it. I, th I think I'm still processing this. And I just jumped from one topic to another. So, yeah. So let me go back to the total eclipse. Let me go back to the most recent new moon, black moon, solar eclipse in Leo. So my divine guidance for me but I, and I do recommend you check in with your divine guidance for you as to how to deal with this afterwards, um, meaning at, in the last two days and onward, is to get as much rest as possible, um, remain as calm as possible, and acknowledge if things and people are irritating you, because I gotta tell you something, on Monday, every little thing that any person around me said or did irritated the fucking shit out of me. I was just like, and I was like, Robert, this is part of this eclipse. You have rising Leo, you have moon in Aquarius. Just take a moment, slow down, take a minute, slow down, don't kill anybody. Don't ram them through a wall. Don't pick up the largest object you can carry and throw it against them. That would be against the law. But every little thing. And it only had to do with people in close proximity to me. If it was somebody that was like across the street from me, or I was in a bus and I saw somebody do something stupid, didn't care. But it was just this. It was just like, oh. you know. So I, so I feel also, and this is again my, div my divine guidance, and that is continue resting, continue relaxing, continue doing things that nourish and nurture my body, mind, and soul. Continue praying, meditating doing all those things, um, and I have been. And I've also been looking at what I need to take care of in my professional life, in my personal life, um, and just getting on top of those things as well. And of course, cafe. Mm. And I want to acknowledge Mary Burrell, because, um, oh, I didn't bring it with me. Oh, darn. All right. I was gonna do some quick show and tell. So from now on, at least not in this video, but from now on, every time I drink coffee, I'm going to uh, have the, con the, the container that has the coffee brand. 
Um, I can tell you that this is called Oriental Pastry and Grocery. They're located in the borough of Brooklyn in NYC. Uh, they are they specialize in Middle Eastern foods. They also have they also do catering. Um, and of course, I purchased their dark roast coffee. Now, their dark roast coffee, for some reason, this year, tastes a little bit bitter to me. So I haven't figured out how to make the right ratio, but it's still very good. And, and I happen to love dark roast. Um, I've mentioned in previous videos that I am an initiated companion of Grove Argentum. Grove Argentum is a Manhattan-based chapter of both the Druid clan of Donna and the International Fellowship of Isis, as in the goddess Isis, which is headquartered in Clonagall Castle in County Enniscorty in Ireland. And um, it is an organization that was founded several years ago, actually a little more than two decades ago, if I remember, if I remember correctly. And it was founded to acknowledge and celebrate the Divine Feminine. And um, with Grove Argentum, the matron goddess is the goddess Isis, the ancient Egyptian goddess of magic, witchcraft, psychic powers, healing love, and restorative love. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought I saw something really funny. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that. Um, the thing of it is that the, the priestess, the high priestess for Grove Argentum, creates something very beautiful. And she makes some... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like do that with my foot. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, so... Um, okay. I didn't mean to distract myself. I'm so, so sorry. Every year, I have the honor and pleasure of accompanying her on a pilgrimage to the stores that sell these fantastic Middle Eastern foods that are a part of the Isis Rededication Feast. And I love doing that with her. It's a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy going to a part of Brooklyn that I don't normally go to. And I get to, um, and I love Oriental uh, pastry and grocery because they always give us free samples of some of their pastries. And, oh, their honey cakes are so good. Their honey cakes are just so good. They're just like, they're moist. They're not too sweet. They're not undersweet. And my awesome audiovisual person is falling asleep. And if he starts falling asleep, I'm gonna go over time and I'm not gonna know that I'm over time. So ladies and gentlemen, I apologize that I needed to say that on camera. But now, he needs to remain awake. Are you going to remain awake? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You might want to sit up in your chair like I am, because if you don't, if you do that, you'll not, you'll start nodding off. It actually, by the way, YouTube, it actually does help to sit up straight. No, to sit up firmly erect, no straight, <laughs> and to be yes, and to be quite erect in your posture. It helps. So, Anyway, quick sip. So, rest, relax, nurture your body, mind, and soul, and also engage in spiritually uplifting activities. I love that recommendation. It works for me, it works for my clients, it works for my students, it works for my loved ones, it works for me, etc. Okay. Um, the thing with Doreen Virtue, I honestly am still very mixed about it. I don't feel led to use her Oracle card decks and tarot decks right now. Um, I know that somebody on Facebook um, intimated that this is a form of racism on her part. I don't know. Um, if it is, um, that would be a damn shame. Um, and I must admit, um, oh, actually, some of you were like, Facebook? He doesn't use Facebook anymore. You're right, I don't use Facebook anymore. Um, however, I have a phenomenal personal psychic advisor named Roger Pratt who continues to use Facebook. He pointed this out to me. He actually took a screenshot and sent it to me. And I'm happy that he did, because you know what? I would want to know about this. I would absolutely want to know about this situation with her. Um, I hope it is not racism. I hope and pray that it's not racism on her part. 
unfortunately, now more than ever, there is um, just way too much. And um, I don't like to be political publicly, and certainly not on my YouTube channel. But I definitely feel like this black moon, new moon, solar eclipse in Leo is also ushering in a painful awareness of what is not working, both in this country and on this planet. And I think that a lot of things are going to be changing. And some of them may be changing to the point that it's like, yeah, it might be like whiplash. Like, here's one change, here's another change. This person is out of this position, this person is out of that position. So, you know. Um, and I did promise you this video would not be more than 20 minutes long. So I'm going to get a time check. Okay, good. So that's it that I wanted to talk about. I wanted to keep this video under 20 minutes. If you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel of Robert Alvarez, The Psychic Witch, I invite you to do so. And if you have not already scheduled your reading, I invite you to do, though, do so as well. I know that I still, I, I find it the most bizarre thing. I, I know that I keep saying this in my videos, but I find it bizarre. I have appointments in September. I have appointments in October. I have no appointments in November. I have appointments in December. I have appointments officially in January of 2017. And I have appointments technically in both February and March of 2017, but I have nothing in November 2016. I find it to be the most bizarre thing. I don't know what to do with it. So yeah, in the meantime, um, quick little tidbit about the coffee, dark roast. I added some cinnamon, well, allspice, cinnamon, and ginger, which is my cash, well, no, I'm sorry. It's not my cash coffee recipe. It is the cash coffee recipe of um, Patricia Telesco in her book Money Magic and I added a little bit of cardamom since I did purchase it in a Middle Eastern specialty grocery store so I added a little of cardamom as well and I added cream, heavy cream and honey clover honey to be precise and yes, even in spite of the bitterness this coffee is so good so YouTube thank you so much for honoring who I am and what I do I wish you many blessings, many gifts many miracles and a beautiful day and week and weekend too.